Hi there. This video is a part of our tutorial series on how to build a web app in Java. In the previous video, we imported a project into IntelliJ and we took a look at how we can run and debug it. In this video, we're going to continue on that and go through some of the basic concepts of Vaadin, how we actually use components and layouts to construct a UI. Let's get started. So I'm in, in the project here in the main view class and there's quite a bit of stuff here when you download the project starter. So let's go ahead and first just clear out everything so that we can focus on, on just learning from scratch. So I'll clear out everything that's inside the constructor. Let's take out the auto wire here. Even going to clear out all the comments here. Okay, so now we have a clean slate. We have a class called main view extends from a vertical layout and it has an empty constructor. Let's run the application and just see what we have in the browser as we start. Okay, so we have the application up and running. And what you can see right now is that we can't navigate to the empty route because there is no route for it. So the first thing we need to do when building an application is to define what the entry point into the application is. We can do that by defining a route. And more specifically, we want to specify the empty route. So this will be whenever somebody comes into localhost without specifying any additional path, this main view will get loaded. Vaadin is a component-based framework. It means that pretty much everything that we work with in terms of UI is a component. So if you wanted, for instance, a new button, you would instantiate a new button object. We can give it a caption like click me. Let's call it button. Just creating a component like this won't make it show up anywhere yet. To do that, we need to add it to a layout that's visible. So right now we've added this vertical layout or we've defined that it should be shown whenever we uh, go to the empty route. And what we can do then is call add on this vertical layout and pass in our button like this. So let's go ahead and build the project and I'll show you what it actually looks like. So you can see we have a button here now, has the click me caption that we defined in our code. Let's create another component here. Let's do a new date picker, for instance. Let's give it a caption as well. Pick a date, let's call it a date picker. And if we now add this date picker to our vertical layout, the main view here, press build, you should see it appearing here underneath the button, which it does. Now, if we wanted to have these two next to each other, we would have to use another type of layout. In this case, we're gonna create a new horizontal layout. So let's create a horizontal layout and pass in those two components into that. Make it into a variable called layout and then we'll pass this single new wrapping layout to our main view like this. Again, we'll build it and what you can see is they are now next to each other. Now this looks a little bit weird because they're not really aligned with each other and doesn't look all that good. It's because they're different heights and right now they're aligned to the top. So the date picker here has a little uh, label here on top, which makes it look uh, like it's not aligned. So what we might want to do instead is have them align to the bottom. That way it'll be visually much nicer to look at. The way we do that is to call layout and set the default vertical component alignment here and we can specify that we want it to align to the end. The beginning would be top in this case, and the end would be here. Let's build it again. And make sure that everything works the way it was supposed to. You can see now that the button and the text, uh, the button and the date picker are next to each other. They're aligned, looking nice. The last thing that we're going to look at is how we can add functionality to the application. So we often want to have the application to be interactive in some way. In Vaadin, the way we do this is by listening for events. 
In this case, we can add a listener on the button, for instance. So we'll do something whenever the button gets clicked. I'm passing in a Lambda function here. And what I'll do is I'll call add. So I'm adding something to this main view. And what I'll add is a, let's say, mm, let's add a new paragraph. So it's a paragraph of text and we'll say clicked. And we might want to access some information from the date picker as well. So we can add here, let's do date picker dot get value. So we'll say clicked and whatever value is selected in, in the date picker. Let's build it back into the app here. Let's first of all, select the date and then press click. And you can see that we get a new paragraph here with the information, the text and the date picker value here. So those are the basics of building an app with Vod. And everything's a component. You put components into layouts to determine how they show up. And finally, you add listeners to attach functionality to these components. Okay, so now that you know the basics of how Vaadin works, let's clean up our project and make it ready for us to start building the actual application that we're building in this tutorial. So I'll clear out everything in main view. I'll leave the route annotation there. Then I will create two new packages, one called UI, where we'll, we will put all the UI code, and another one called backend, where we'll put our backend code later on. I can go ahead and delete the greet service uh, that was used in the initially downloaded starter project because we're not using that anymore. And then I'll move the main view into our UI package here. So this is what you should be seeing right now. Likewise, there is a style sheet that was loaded earlier that we don't need anymore. So if you want to keep everything kind of clean and nice, you can go ahead and download that as well. And finally, let's just build this. And what we expect to see is a completely, uh, completely empty view with nothing. We don't want to see any errors showing up in the console, which we're not seeing. So this is a good start. We have a clean slate where we can start building out our new full stack CRM application. The first thing that we need to do for that though is define our backend. So we need to define a data model, set up a database, populate some test data that we can work on in this application. We'll do that in the next video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, enable those uh, notifications so that you get to know when we post the next video. And I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.